Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we are going to find the integer solutions for this given system of equations a, b plus c equals to 2050 and the second equation is a plus b, c equals to 2051. In other words, we are going to find the value of a, b and c where a, b and c are our integers. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let me go ahead and label these equations. I'm going to call this very first equation as equation number one and this is I'm going to call equation number two. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and subtract equation one from equation two. And here I have copied down equation two and this is equation one. Now let's go ahead and subtract. Let me change the sign. This become negative, negative, negative. So we got a minus a b plus b c minus c and on the right hand side 2051 minus 2050 is just going to give us 1. And now we can see we have a is in common between these first two terms and here I'm going to bring uh, minus C as a common factor. So therefore we can write A times 1 minus B and here I'm going to factor out negative C. So we got uh, 1 minus B equals to 1 and now we can see 1 minus B and 1 minus B they are in common. So therefore I can factor out 1 minus b and then times a minus c equals to 1. And now we can see we got these two factors that is equal to 1. So therefore our possibilities are going to be 1 times 1 and the other one is going to be negative 1 times negative 1 since 1 and negative 1 are our integers. So therefore for this first scenario I can write this 1 minus b equals to 1 and 1 minus c equals to 1 as well. Let me go ahead and write down 1 minus b equals to 1 and likewise the other one is going to be a minus c equals to 1 as well. And for the second scenario I can write 1 minus b equals to negative 1 and 1 minus c equals to negative 1 as well. So therefore let me go ahead and write down 1 minus b equals to negative 1 and the other one is a minus c equals to negative 1 as well. Now let's take care of this case 1. Let me just solve for b first. Let me go ahead and subtract this uh, negative 1 from this equation. This is gone. So we got negative b equals to 1 minus 1 is 0. So that means our b value turns out to be 0. Now we are going to put this b equal to 0 value in this uh, equation 1 and here is our equation 1. Let's go ahead and replace b by 0. So this become a times 0 plus c equals to 2050. So that means a times 0 is 0 plus c equals to 2050. So that means our c value turns out to be 2050. And now let's focus on this equation 1 minus c equals to 1. We know our c value is 2050. So let me go ahead and just fill in the blanks. So this is going to be a minus 2050 equals to 1. Now let's go ahead and add 2050 on both sides. This is gone. So therefore our a value turns out to be 2051 on the right hand side. So thus for case 1 our A value is 2051, B value is 0 and C is 2050. 
now let's focus on this uh, case 2 and let's focus on this equation 1 minus b equals to negative 1 let me go ahead and subtract 1 from both sides this is gone so we got negative b equals to negative 2 so that means our b value turns out to be positive 2 now let's go ahead and plug it in this b equals to 2 value in this uh, equation 1 and 2 so that means this b i'm going to replace it by 2 and this b by 2 as well therefore our equation 1 is going to become 2a plus c equals to 2050 and now likewise the second equation is going to be a plus 2c equals to 2051. Now let me go ahead and uh, solve these two equations by elimination uh, method. So therefore I'm going to multiply this first equation both sides by 2. So therefore this first equation is going to become 4a plus 2c equals to 4100 and here I have copied down this second equation right up here now let's go ahead and subtract this equation I'm going to change the sign minus minus and minus so 4a minus a is going to give us 3a 2c minus 2c they are gone equals to 2049 on the right hand side let's divide both side by 3 this is gone so therefore our a value turns out to be 683 now we know in this second equation a minus c equals to negative 1 let me go ahead and replace a by 683 over here so therefore this is going to become 680 3 minus c equals to negative 1 let's go ahead and subtract 683 from both sides this is gone so we ended up with the negative c equals to negative 684 or simply c is going to become 680 Four. So thus for case 2, our A value turns out to be 683, B value is 2, and C value is 684. And here's our complete set of solution. This is for our case 1, and this is our case 2. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.